Hello students, welcome to Periodonics, Week 1, Part 4, Chapters 1 through 4. The periodontium exists in three basic states. In the absence of disease, the periodontium is healthy. Pathogenesis is a sequence of events that occur during the development of a disease or abnormal condition. Periodontology deals with the events that occur during the development of periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is a bacterial infection of the periodontium. There are two types of periodontal disease, gingivitis and periodontitis. Itis is a suffix meaning inflammation. For example, appendicitis is an inflammation of the appendix. See Table 3-1 on page 49 for more information. Do not confuse the terms periodontal disease and periodontitis. Periodontal disease is a bacterial infection of the periodontium. Gingivitis and periodontitis are two types of periodontal disease. In health, the junctional epithelium is coronal to the CEJ. It has tight intercellular junctions. The connective tissue attachment is intact. Supragingival fiber bundles provide support to the gingiva and the junctional epithelium. The periodontal ligament fibers are intact and attach the root to the bone of the tooth socket. The alveolar bone is also intact and supports and protects the root of the tooth. The gingival color is pink or coral pink with the exception of ethnic melanin pigmentation. The consistency of the gingiva is firm and the shape of the marginal gingiva is knife-like. The free gingiva is smooth and the attached gingiva has a stippled appearance. There is a clear demarcation between the pink stippled attached gingiva and the darker alveolar mucosa. There is no bleeding on probing, no exudate is present, and probing depths range from 1 to 3 millimeters. Gingivitis is a bacterial infection that is confined to the gingiva. It results in reversible destruction to the tissues of the periodontium. The photograph on the left shows marginal gingivitis. On the upper right, herpetic gingivostomatitis. On the lower right, hormonal gingivitis. Notice that the color is bright red, the tissue is enlarged, the shape of the tissue is round or rolled, papilla may be blunted, cratered, bulbous, or flattened. The consistency is soft, spongy in texture. The surface texture is smooth and shiny. The position of the gingival margin is either enlarged or recessed. The junctional epithelium remains at the CEJ. There is bleeding on probing, and probing depths may be greater than 3 millimeters. The disease is reversible at this stage. Periodontitis is a bacterial infection, including all parts of the periodontium, including gingiva, periodontal ligament, bone, and cementum and it results in irreversible tissue damage. The hallmark of periodontitis is destruction of supragingival fiber bundles resulting in loss of attachment. The junctional epithelium is positioned now apically to the CEJ. There are widened intercellular junctions and epithelial extensions into the connective tissue. The PDL fibers are progressively destroyed, exposing the cementum to the pocket environment. The alveolar bone also is eventually destroyed, 
with a resulting tooth loss. Probing depths are greater than 4 millimeters due to the apical migration of the junctional epithelium. Bleeding on probing and exudate may be present. Teeth may be mobile. The color of the tissue can be pale pink to bright red or purplish red. It is enlarged or fibrotic, bulbous, cratered, round, and rolled. The consistency is soft and spongy to firm and hard. The surface texture is hard and firm. The picture on the upper left shows rapidly progressive perio in a 30-year-old white male of Hispanic origin. The picture on the lower left shows rapidly progressive perio in a 32-year-old white female. The upper middle photo shows rapidly progressive perio in a 32-year-old white female. The lower middle picture shows rapidly progressive perio in a 32-year-old white female. On the upper right, we see rapidly progressive perio in a 28-year-old female. In health, the crest of the alveolar bone is located approximately 2 millimeters apical to the CEJ. In periodontitis, bone destruction may be severe. This pattern of bone destruction is dependent on the pathway that the inflammation takes as it spreads from the gingiva to the alveolar bone. Bone may be lost in either a horizontal or vertical pattern. Horizontal bone loss is the most common pattern. It occurs fairly evenly. This type of bone loss produces a supra bony pocket. Vertical bone loss occurs when the pathway of inflammation proceeds directly into the PDL. Crestal bone is at an angle to the root surface and produces an infrabony pocket. The inflammatory pathway for horizontal bone loss progresses from the gingival connective tissue into the alveolar bone and then into the periodontal ligament whereas the pathway for vertical bone loss begins with the gingival connective tissue, directly goes into the PDL space, and then into the alveolar bone. Here are some images that show horizontal bone loss. Notice that the bone is relatively at the same level straight across. You can see that in the radiographic images as well. Here you can see a vertical bone loss pocket, infrabony pocket, and in the surgical slide you can see how the bone was lost deep in this area here where it's up higher on the distal of that molar. Periodontal infrabony defects are classified according to the number of osseous walls surrounding the pocket. There are four bony interproximal walls surrounding any tooth, mesial, distal, facial, and lingual. Most vertical bone loss occurs interproximally, although it may occur on the lingual or the facial aspects of the tooth. Diagram A to the right shows a three-wall defect, which means that there are three walls remaining the distal, the lingual, and the facial. B shows a two-wall defect. Two walls are remaining, the distal and the lingual. C shows a one-wall defect. Only the distal wall is remaining. Tissue destruction usually occurs in an irregular pattern. An anatomical defect is the end result of the disease process. A disease site is the area of tissue destruction that surrounds a tooth. It is either inactive, which means it is stable, or active, 
which means there is continued migration of the junctional epithelium. The progression is assessed by using a periodontal probe at each scheduled maintenance visit. Attachment loss is the destruction of the fibers and alveolar bone that support the teeth. The base of a pocket may exhibit a very irregular pattern of tissue destruction. A periodontal pocket is a pathologic deepening of the gingival sulcus as a result of apical migration of the junctional epithelium, destruction of periodontal ligament fibers, and destruction of alveolar bone. Superbony periodontal pockets occur when there is horizontal bone loss. The junctional epithelium is located coronal to the crest of the alveolar bone. Infrabony periodontal pockets occur when there is vertical bone loss. The junctional epithelium is located apical to the crest of the alveolar bone. The base of the pocket is located within the cratered out area of bone alongside the root surface. A disease site is an area of tissue destruction. A disease site may involve only one surface of the tooth, such as the distal surface, or several surfaces, or all four surfaces of the tooth. A gingival pocket is a deepening of the gingival sulcus due to inflammation. Gingival enlargement causes the sulcus to deepen, therefore it is not a true periodontal pocket and is referred to frequently as a pseudopocket. In a gingival pocket, there is no apical migration of the junctional epithelium, there is no destruction of the periodontal ligament fibers, and there is no destruction of bone. A periodontal pocket is an area of tissue destruction left by the periodontal disease process. A periodontal pocket shows apical migration of the junctional epithelium, destruction of the alveolar bone, and PDL fiber bundles. The majority of periodontal pockets in most adult patients with periodontitis are inactive sites. The pocket is an indicator of past destruction from periodontitis. This concludes the lecture for Week 1, Chapter 1-4, through 4, Part 4.